How is 25 divided by 10 related to 25 divided by 100? In this lesson, you will learn to divide a whole number by 10 and 100 by using your understanding of place value. Let's review multiples. The multiples of a number are the answers we get when we multiply the number by 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Multiples of 10 all end in 0. Any multiple of 10 can be written as a number times 10. For example, 2 times 10 equals 20, 3 times 10 equals 30, and so on. Multiples of 100 all end with at least two zeros. Any multiple of 100 can be written as a number times 100. For example, 2 times 100 equals 200, 3 times 100 equals 300, and so on. Since 10 equals 1 times 10, multiplying by 10 is like multiplying a number by 10 one time. Since 100 is 10 times 10, multiplying by 100 is like multiplying a number by 10 twice. Since 1000 is 10 times 10 times 10, multiplying by 1000 is like multiplying a number by 10 three times. You can also multiply 10 times 100 to get to 1000. When we divide a number by 10, we find that the answer has the same digits, but the digits have shifted one place to the right. We can use this pattern to find the answer to a division problem when the divisor is 10. This is very similar to the method we use when we are multiplying a number by 10. In both cases, it is the digits that are shifting places. We can make the digit appear to be switching places by shifting the decimal point instead. To divide by 10, we shift the decimal point one place to the left. Let's take a look at this in our problem. What is 87 divided by 10 and 87 divided by 100? You do not see a decimal point attached to 87, but there is an imaginary one behind the 7. This is the decimal point we will be working with with the whole numbers we see. Here you see the 8 moves from the 10's place to the 1's place and the 7 moves from the 1's place to the 10's place. Remember, dividing by 100 is like dividing by 10 twice. When we divide by 100, we shift the decimal point two places to the left. So the 8 and 87 shifts from the tens place two spaces to the tenths place, and the 7 shifts two places from the ones place to the hundredths place. So when dividing by a power of 10, we shift the decimal point the same number of zeros in the number we are dividing by, 10 or, or 100. We can remember which way to shift the decimal point if we can remember that dividing a number into 10 or 100 parts makes smaller numbers. As the decimal point moves to the left, the value of the number becomes less and less. Let's take a look at this in our original problem. What is 25 divided by 10 and 25 divided by 100? You do not see a decimal point attached to 25, but there is an imaginary one behind the 5. This is the decimal point we will be working with in the whole numbers we see. Here you see the 2 moves from the 10's place to the 1's place and the 5 moves from the 1's place to the 10th's place. Remember, dividing by 100 is like dividing by 10 twice. When we divide by 100, we shift the decimal point two places to the left. So the 2 in, 26, in 25 shifts from the 10's place two spaces to the 10th's place and the 5 shifts two places from the 1's place to the 100's place. So when dividing by a power of 10, we shift the decimal point the same number of zeros in the number we are dividing, by 10 or by 100. We can remember which way to shift the decimal point if we can remember that dividing a number into 10 or 100 parts makes smaller numbers. As the decimal point moves to the left, the value of the number becomes less and less. In this lesson, you have learned to divide a whole number by 10 and 100 by using your understanding of place value.